Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Dweller by Titan Bags. And this is the newest bag in Titan's lineup. Let's go ahead and dive in and break this bag down. We'll start the slow side. This is a carpet bag. This has a herringbone carpet on the slow side. However, it's not quite exactly the same as the herringbone carpet we're used to that's used more commonly. This is a much smaller herringbone pattern. I love the way it feels. It plays very similar to what the what we're used to with the herringbone material, but it but it, it just has a little bit of a different feel. Maybe a, maybe a softer feel. I, don't, I just, I really like the way this feels. I would say brand new, it played probably about a six speed. It started to slow down, but it hasn't slowed down as much as I would say what I'm used to in the normal. Normal herringbone carpet, I call about a five. Although I say you can manipulate it, you know, between a four and a six, I call it typically a five. I'm going to call this about a five and a half. It's just ever so slightly faster. And I feel like it, it, it slowed down and it really stabilized that five and a half. It hasn't slowed down quite as slow as what I'm used to. I'm going to call it five. It's between a five and a six speed on this. And if I remember in, in editing, I will put a picture up of this material, a close-up of this compared to the quote-unquote normal herringbone. If I remember, if I don't, I apologize. You know, I can get to my age. Sometimes you forget things. I don't remember things for very long. So hopefully I remember that. I'll put a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it is slightly different, although it has a lot of characteristics as far as the way it plays. It's very similar. You know, if you didn't look at it that closely, maybe you wouldn't know. So anyway, five and a half speed on the slow side. Fast side. This is that game changer, surefire fast side material. It's it's a it's eight and a half. I call it it's between eight and nine. I call it eight and a half speed. Titan has an eight speed lifted up listed on here. So Eight, eight and a half, somewhere in that range. It's fast. It's great for pushing. It's great for collecting. Uh, so we're looking at a five and a half, to eight and a half speed bag, I would say. Both these materials. Now, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of testing on this carpet, so I'm making some assumptions about humidity. I, I threw it one night, and it was somewhat humid, and the bag moved really well. And traditionally, carpets play well in humidity. Herringbone carpets no exception. So I'm going to assume this is going to play pretty well. We know this fast side plays well, so this is a really nice humidity style bag so if you live in areas where humidity is an issue where boards start getting sticky and slowing down and you're wanting something that you can that you can play it'll move these two materials should move pretty well for you when those humid conditions kick in template wise this is a it's a medium template bag but it's a fuller bag so it feels like a smaller template this bag has quite a bit of fill in it um, it's got some flop but it does it's not gonna get real floppy it, you know it's it's definitely a fuller bag so if you like, if you like those fuller bags, you like, you know, you got a ton of these to grip to get a, a handful, you want to grab a hold of something, and this dweller is definitely something you want. The fill in here is a mixed fill, but I would say it's mostly beads. I, I find some some smaller fill, maybe some flat fill right on them, but it's mostly a bead fill in here. It really reminds me, all in all, from, from template materials, fill, this reminds me a ton of the BG Wizard. Not the 23, 24 wizard, the larger template, but the the pre-23 wizard that had that smaller template, that fuller bag. I really loved those bags. And when I picked this bag up and put it in my hand, it's just so reminiscent of that bag that you get that fuller feeling. You can really grab a hold of the bag. You have the control that you had of that. So if you're a fan of those older wizards, those, those smaller, fuller wizards, and you didn't like the new template change, they got a little bit bigger, a little floppier then you might want to try this dweller. I think you're going to love it. Which, let's go ahead and leads me into playability on this. And this is a bag that, although it has a controllable material, and you can throw blockers up there, right? You can put blockers, you can play a dirty style game with it. In my opinion, it's better suited for running the, running bags up the hole. You're just trying to put your bags in, outscore your opponent, and throw the occasional blocker, more of that hybrid style game. And really where I think this bag shines, it shines so much better in competition. Throw it in open boards, it's hard to really showcase what it can do. But you get into competition, especially if you're playing an opponent who plays a dirty style game. They got blockers and they got all kinds of chaos on the board. This this bag is wonderful for shape and shine. So you can throw cuts with it. You can roll it. You can flop it. There's really nothing you can't do. You can manipulate this bag to really make it do what you want. You can really get around bags. And I love a bag like this when I am playing against a dirty style opponent. When I play someone who's putting blockers up there. I don't want to keep collecting their blockers. I don't want to be forced into air mills all the time. I want to have options. And, and, and so you have options back as far as you want to throw a cut right to left, a left to right. You want to air mail. You want to flop. You want to roll. You can do any of that with this bag and get around it. And the bag, because of this bead mixed fill and mostly bead fill in here, the bag is really wonderful around the hole. You get it up on the hole and you get, you get it to start to move. And those beans just cascade in, and this bag just drips and slides in. So when you have a blocker up there, and your opponent throws a blocker, and you want to get around it, you can throw a cut shot, and all you're going to do is just kind of sneak around and just grab the hole. It's going to do that toilet bowl, spin around, and come right back in. It's wonderful for getting around bags. Now, if you throw a blocker up there, it is a very collectible bag. What I will say with this is because it's a fuller bag, it it kind of it feels like a smaller bag. I would say that. The, the, the collectability of the bag is not, it's more difficult. And I don't mean it, I mean, again, I'm talking about 
fractions of an inch when I say smaller. You know, we're talking sixteenth, eighth of an inch. It's not a massive size change. But when you go to collect, I found when I wanted to clip just the corner, I felt like the bag just kind of spun and this would go in and I, I couldn't push her. I had to go a little more intentional. And not, I don't have to go, you know, you don't go full bag to bag. You're going maybe, you know, a third of the bag, quarter of the bag, you're clipping here. You just got to get more of that corner where you want to clip more of that corner and then the bags would go in. And once you got them started, they're going to fall in. Like I said, if you're just touching just the edge, I found that I, the bags just wanted to spin and go right by, which may, again, makes them great for get around bags. Your punter's a blocker in the middle or maybe a little more on their side. You can you can go at the, the edge of that bag, just step out and go at that bag and you can kind of spin it, bully it and put your bag in and leave their blocker there, make them collect their blocker. And if you have an opponent, those, those are a play the dirty style game and is always putting blockers up there. If you're constantly getting your bags in and leaving their blocker and making them collect it, eventually they're going to stop throwing that blocker. They're going to stop throwing the blocker. They're going to try to run bags with you. And now you've got the advantage because they're not used to running bags or they've got a bag that's not designed to run bags and, and you do. So I love whenever I'm playing someone who plays that, who plays that dirty style game, I love making them collect their blockers. And sometimes, you know, they put, you get aggressive, put blockers more on your side. If you can still get around and make them go after it, a lot of times they end up they end up missing when they go after it and they have two bags off and now you've got four points. Or they can't collect that bag. They bullied out of the way trying to collect it because they struggle getting that cut to come across and you've got two points. So w this is a bag that I think is better for getting around bags than it is for pushing through, although you can collect it. And if you want to play a dirty style game, you can definitely do it with this. But I see this more in that player who's kind of a... Maybe, you know, not maybe somewhat of a power thrower, you know, like, like for me, I, I tend to throw more of a lower trajectory bag, a little bit harder to throw or more of a power thrower. This is a bag ideal for me, speed wise, ideal for just running holes. You know, I don't need to go faster. I can put this, I can, I can run this in the hole with no problem whatsoever. And if I do have to leave a blocker, I can still collect it slow side. You know, I usually flip it over fast side when I want to push and follow through or if there's multiple bags. Most time I'm throwing slow side with this. I love the control it gives you as far as the shot shaking. That's where the bag stands out to me is it? I felt confident no matter what was what the board looked like. I felt like I had plenty of options and I could put this bag in the hole. I talked about the rollability of this bag. This is also a wonderful bag if you're just wanting to learn to roll bags. Maybe you're not a seasoned roll bagger. Maybe you're, you're struggling with it. This bag has a ton of movement, a ton of bounce to it. Very easy to roll. If you want to get into the roll game, you want to practice rolling bags, this Dweller is one that's really going to help you because it, you don't have to be perfect. It's very forgiving. You don't need that full back load. You get a little bit of back load. The bag, just, the bag has a natural bounce, natural move. It wants to it wants to get up and roll on its own. You could even, it's one of these bags you could kind of roll by accident with if you're not, not expecting it. So it's definitely a rollable bag, a great bag to learn the roll shot with. I will say, I didn't mention, the bag does have, because you've got this bouncier fill, it does have some kick to it. So if you don't throw the flaccid bag, it's going to kick on you. As long as you're consistent with your kick, you're consistent with that tilt, you can play it. You know, you can you can just adjust your end spot and you can definitely go up there and, and, and control that. The bag being a fuller bag, not being that floppy. I will say the landing zone on it is not that big. It's probably a normal size landing zone. So forgiveness around the hole maybe isn't the best, you know, because when you get up to grab that corner, the, the, because it's fuller, it doesn't have that flop to dip in. So you've got to get more of that bag in. Once you get more of the bag over, it'll dip and grab it's beautifully. If you get just a corner over it, sometimes it's just going to skip past or just catches it just enough to spin it, but it sits there kind of off the back, uncollectible. But because it is a fuller bag and a smaller bag, I feel like I have complete control that I'm more accurate with this bag. So that that forgiveness isn't as needed. You know, to me, the floppier bags are a little harder to control. So you need more of the forgiveness. These fuller bags, easier control. I feel like it's a trade-off you get, right? I've got way more control. I lose a little bit of forgiveness, but I don't need the forgiveness if I've got more control. Does that make sense? So I, I don't want to knock the bag because it's not floppy. I really love throwing this bag. And if you watched my wizard review I did, I loved that bag for all the same reasons. And that's why I say this bag is so reminiscent of that pre-23 style wizard. I had a blast on this. I really, really love this bag. Recommend you checking it out. If you're looking to play a shot shaping style game, I think this dweller is perfect for you. That leads me into availability. Titan has a website. It's titancornholebags.com, I believe. I, sh I should write this stuff down. I, I, going off memory, something. I don't know why I still do this. I, write I think it's titancornholebags.com. I'll put a link description. I'll get it wrong. I'll put a link down there for sure. You can click on and go to the website. Pricing wise, I don't know for sure the bags haven't quite been released yet. They will be very, very soon. Uh, but I think they were, most of their bags run $79.99. They have some special releases stuff that run at $89.99, a little higher. I don't know if, where it's going to run, but right around $79, right around $80, $90 shipping for their bags. It's like, it's like $5.50, I think, six bucks shipping. The cheap, one of the cheaper shipping options out there. So for, you know, right around 90 bucks or so, you're getting a great bag. And I didn't mention, but these are ACL Pro Stamp for 2024. So you're getting a stamped ACL bag. 
for 90 under 90 bucks which is a phenomenal price i highly rec check recommend you checking them out i of all the titan bags i've thrown so far uh, this dweller may be my favorite I, I in fact i think it is my favorite i i, I don't know of another Titan. i mean i not i've i've really liked some of the bags i've reviewed from titan but this one here is just i absolutely love the way it plays i love what you can do with it so highly recommend checking it out if you throw in the dweller um let me know i'd love to hear your feedback on it when you get a set what you like what you don't like about them uh, i thank you guys so much for support and i thank you for watching